Hi guys, and today is pretty much going to be talking about the Fleetwood 1 Sunland 1 game. So let's get started. So, our first one through the team, there was only one change, and that was the enforced change that there was no Linden Goots. So, the team we did go with was um, Matthews and Cole, a back three, McLaughlin right and flanking like always, then with Luke O'Neill and Denver Hume right and left wing back, with the two in the middle of Led Pitter and Scowen, and he changed the formation and put McGuire in front of them, but behind Greg and Mike. I mean, Graham and Mike, sorry. So let's get start. For me, there weren't really much, much really in, in the game, um, in the first half, really. Um, I do somewhat else that we had one chance where, where Denver Hume just pretty much, much came into the box and just stopped, but it was an easy enough, like, save for, for, like, their goal cave, and that's what really happened. It was just boring, really. I do think that we did see it. Like we had more possession, we did have more shots, but like of nothing of what of no or nothing I can remember, if you get what I mean. I mean we just didn't look like scoring re really. And Danny Graham was doing nothing. I think he did get better in the second half, but he did before he went off, but he did nothing really. Um, and nil nil was probably fair like going to half time. So I thought we need to make some changes. I would have brought Diamond on, brought Emblem on, I would have even brought my fasting on. But um he went with the same team to like start the second half. Um I did see it fine, fair enough. Enough really. Um them them had a good see it them had a like a great chance where he seems to somehow volley it when he was gone back and, and Remy Matthews tipped it onto the post what um was a good good by by like him him and I think he did well tonight and for me Remy Matthews proved himself and should be our number one goalkeeper now. Not not Lee Burke. So um as well so then we took the lead what I don't know how it happened. It, I think it said it was a long ball by Flanagan and the Kiefer Hesitated pretty much and White took advantage and headed it in the back of the net net with half an hour to go and I thought now please please pretty much don't go defensive, don't do anything and hang on at the very least. So what did they do? You bring Will Greg on for Danny Graham. I don't think Danny Graham had a good game or anything, but at least it was a target to aim at if you get from there and while Greg was just non existent and literally they were just then after that they were just peppering, peppering our goal where something was going to happen. Then they finally did did get something where where I think someone crossed the ball into Connolly and I think someone slipped and then Connolly puts it puts it in very very nicely. So yeah. So yeah then it's one 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 with about twenty minutes to go and this is where I'm screaming apart and make some subs. Bring Diamond on, bring El Elliot Embleton on. But no, he's stubborn us again. Gang and play with what on top. At the end they probably deserve to win the game. The game had nothing, but we had nothing and that's how the game that but before he did but before the game did end, he made two subs. My third thing what on my fast thing or whatever his name is, I can't complain really, but that late in the game is not really going to affect us. And power for Maguire again. I don't think Maguire had a good game either, but we just sat back and trying to have a draw as well. In the first half, we should have had a penalty where the referee was shocking again tonight. Where Scarron like got to the ball first, and someone just clipped him pretty much. It was a bit like the goat from last last week and the three the one the other way. But yeah, so we're doing one one. Parkinson's got to go now. I do not get what's keeping him in the job. I think I saw it's only taking three hundred kids to sack him. So just do it, do it. Like Joey Barton made five. I think it was three actually three substitutes that changed the game. 
in inflatable sphere. But we Parkinson just standing, standing, and just not making any subs. What's starting to get really on my nerves now. Now, like, it, it was getting on my nerves anyway, but he chose not to change the game, and he tried to, and then when he does make a sub, he, he just pretty much has it to sit, sit back, so yeah. So, before I end the video, like I always do, I'm just going to go through the live plays and how I think they're done. Um, so, when Matthews, I thought he did well, he's better than them to do, and he made one good save, so yeah. Conor McLaughlin, again, I thought, thought he, did, he did well, didn't really put a foot, foot wrong. I don't think he was as good as the weekend, but he definitely was as last week, but he wasn't terrible, so yeah. Really right, I actually thought he had a good game apart from where he slipped for their goal, goal to be fair, where he was heading stuff out and stuff. It was a bit like, like, the thing with Billy Ray, so yeah. Tom Flanagan was solid enough and got an assist, so yeah. Logo 9, just did his job really, didn't do any, it was a bit like what he always does, he doesn't do anything fantastic, but at the same time, he doesn't do anything wrong. Then for Hume, just like he normally is really, where he gets in good positions and and he's end product, um, let let him down really. Um, left bit, it was a quiet game from left bit really, but again it's a bit like one nine where he didn't really put foot wrong. Similar with Scowen, um, he probably should have had a penalty and always try to get put forward and um, if I'm not. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of him on set paces. So, yeah, that's Scower and um, Maguire. Didn't help, really. He's been shocking this season, so, yeah. Danny Greer, he was terrible the first half. I don't get how he's still in for the second half, but he did... He did improve, and he, he did become a good target, and I don't think he should came off for Greg. I think if you were going to take him off... You should have bought someone like Diamond on with a bit of pace if you get if you get what I mean. So yeah. And White got got a goal but but he didn't really do nothing and tried to be a nuisance and was all like all over the place in my opinion, but didn't really do anything else other than that. The subs Greg did now empower my fast thing, didn't really get get a chance to do a thing. So yeah. So that's my thoughts on the game. Game I want to like pretty much hear your thoughts on the game if you watched it if you're a Sunderland fan if you're a Fleetwood fan so yeah so the next time I'll be is on Monday when we play Burton Albion so yeah so hopefully you've enjoyed the video like subscribe view comment and see yeah